when we were in our production meeting, Greg had shared that when he was traveling, he had flown over a section of the Great Wall that had a knife edge. And he wanted to film there. Once we touched down in China, um, it is pretty crowded. Tall, tall buildings, everybody lives in huge buildings. It's about a two hour drive from Beijing to the Great Wall. The greenery is just absolutely gorgeous. There are very few places that are called great. From the air, you start to see the scale of achievement. I'm really excited about getting acquainted again. You know, how's it aging? Uh, is, it, is it looking good? Is it feeling good? Once we got to the wall, ready to go climb. <laughs> to the top of that building, and then there's the way down. This, is, this was probably one of uh, 20 or 30 heart palpitating hikes that we've done trying to find the right location. How did these people actually build a structure as massive as this right on the top of a mountain? It really came to light how treacherous the area is. Nobody could possibly have climbed over that section of wall. But of course, we're working against lots of problems. The weather doesn't cooperate with us very much. You know, I mean, how do you, how do you plan around that? To get a shot of what we want, I mean, we're hanging on for dear lives ourselves sometimes. We create something out of nothing. And that's part of being an engineer. We were able to find a piece of the wall that has been untouched for 500 years. And it is absolutely beautiful. They will go climb the extra half a mile to get the IMAX worthy shot. When we see the names stamped in the bricks of the wall of the people who built it, there's, like there's a piece of us inside this wall. And in all these great engineering projects, that people are going to see in this IMAX movie. That's the common theme. That if you become an engineer, you can put your stamp on history.